gonna be another Harlem storm. Harlem. Yeah. Uh huh. Said you did it, but have you ever lived it? Say you could take a punch, but can you give it? Can you see shit and mind your business? Bullets flying, oh, that's how you living? See shit without snitching? Forget what you seen like old pictures? Can you take pain and not yell? Get your own shit and your own scale? It looks like it's gonna be another Harlem Storm. Oh, Harlem Storm back again. Bringing you prison stories and urban stories from a female point of view. Because it ain't all good and it damn sure ain't all easy. Well, it seems like all the bloggers were wrong in their predictions about who killed rapper Young Dolph, why he got killed, he shouldn't have gone back to Memphis, etc., etc., etc. It seems as though the car that was found possibly allegedly in his murder is responsible for two murders prior to young Dolph. So let's see, do the math. That's one, two, three murders. That's including young Dolph, allegedly. Okay, and all the bloggers were on YouTube talking about, oh, this is why it happened. He shouldn't have done this. He shouldn't have done that. You know, hey, <laughs> you should be able to go wherever the heck you want to go, whether you're a rich rapper or not. Okay, like Young Dolph's wife said, black men should be able to live to an old age just like everybody else. Okay, yeah, okay, you could take precautions like a vest, a bulletproof car, etc. But my view is like, damn, if you got to go through all that, why bother to go back at all? You know, you got to suit up, mask up, you know, you definitely got to be strapped, okay? You got to have the switch on you, okay, feel me? I mean, basically, <laughs> everyday people got to do that nowadays, <laughs> okay? Never leave home without it, okay? Um, so that's my take on the situation, okay? Young Dolph was like possibly, allegedly, the third murder connected to that car. So who's ever fingerprints or forensics gets attached to that car, they're going to have a whole heck of a lot of explaining to do. Okay? Seemed like they weren't hiding it. It's like, here it is. You know, the car got in all that kind of trouble. Finished with the car, just dumped the car. Didn't even bother burning it up or chopping it up or chopping it up and burning it up. Didn't give a damn, okay? So what does that tell you? That tells me that uh, they possibly are no longer around in the neighborhood with the car, okay? So they took some other precautions to whereas they must have felt secure enough to whereas they could just leave the alleged crime car in somebody's yard, okay? somebody's yard I don't know I'm, I'm confused at this point because it's getting the plot is thicken it's getting thicker and thicker and thicker okay I mean I'm wondering now are they gonna find any more bodies attached to that car okay I mean South Memphis is is on fire right now South Memphis is hot boy the way they do things down there is a whole lot different than Harlem I tell you, if somebody from Harlem did that, you wouldn't have found that car. You wouldn't have found that car, okay? You wouldn't have found their fingerprint, okay? The car would have been long gone with the people that did this horrible, horrible tragedy, okay? But allegedly, that's the hot news. The latest update is that the alleged car is related to three murders, and that's including... Young Dolph.
R.I.P. The King of Memphis, Young Dolph. Hey! It's Dolph. This is Harlem Storm back again. It ain't all good, and it damn sure ain't all easy. Hit that like and subscribe, because I'm climbing up there so I could be one of the best bloggers out there from a female point of view. Peace. Till next time. So Harlem Storm.